everyone. Today I'm going to try and keep it really short. I'm going to make a very quick, simple video game. So let's go File, New, and then open up a new project. should look like this. Do we have that? Very good. Then let's go to our frame. Open up our frame here. And we're just going to create a very simple object. Right click, insert an object, click on our active, hit OK, create our active right here. And then on our active, let's right click on it and go properties. And we should see under the running man, under properties and active, right now the movement is static. Let's click on our static movement, set the static movement to bouncing ball. Now underneath the static movement, you should see initial direction. So click on that, you should see this come up. Click on this reset to remove all the directions and set the initial direction to down. This is very important. Does everyone have that? Let's take our time looking at this. Okay, very good. And then we can move this out of the way of our frame. So just put this over here. And now we're going to do some programming. So let's go to our event editor. Let's do new condition. So right click new condition. And let's set a timer. So right click on our timer and go every. Do we have that? Right click on your timer, go every. Let's say, how about every, not one second, how about every 45, these are sort of milliseconds, is what we call them. So have seconds at zero, minutes at zero, hours at zero, 45 of these milliseconds, okay? And we're going to create an object. This is our create new object button right here. So right under here, we're gonna right click and create an object. Do we have that? Okay. We're gonna create our active object and hit okay. And we're gonna create it off at the layer a little bit. We're gonna create it above here. Let's see, the size of our frame is about 640, right? So yeah, we want it just somewhere up here, um, above the frame, about here. Very good, hit OK. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on our, under our active. I'm gonna go position, set X coordinate. Do we have that? Does everyone see? Okay, very good. And we're gonna set the X coordinate we're going to do random range. Do you see this button here, random range? So minimum, let's make the minimum 10. And the maximum, we're gonna make that 630. So the, min so that the minimum range will be 10, the maximum will be 630. So that means everything should be more or less in the frame. Hit OK. Let's run the application. Very good. So you should see all these objects now are kind of flying down the center of the screen. So now let's put in our player. Let's insert an object, an active, hit OK. Click right here. Um, let's quickly double click on here and draw our player. Select it and then I'm gonna just quickly draw something. Please take your time drawing, make something really cool and fun. And also for the other diamond that we created, please draw that and make that something interesting as well. Okay, so then we're gonna right click on here and go to properties and then under the running man, under static, we're gonna select this and go eight directions movement. Do we see that? Eight directions movement. Okay, eight direction movement selected. You can just, you can change this if you want. I think uh, maybe 30 is a little better as a speed instead of 50, but you can have it any speed you want. And then let's go up to our application. Click on your application right here. Does everyone have that? You have your application selected. And then under your application, you have properties. Let's uh, select runtime options and scroll all the way down. So you have runtime options here we selected and then we scroll all the way down right here under edit controls, default controls. Set your uh, player one to joystick one. 
Okay, do we have that? Okay, hit okay. And then let's go back to our programming. One last thing to do. In our event editor, we're gonna right click here and go new, under new condition. We're gonna right click on our player and go collisions with another object. And this active objects, hit okay. And then right here under our storyboard con controls, we're gonna uh, go restart the current frame. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, let me try that again. Sorry, I forgot to put a plug in my controller here. There we go. Ooh, oh my. And now you have a fun game. We need to dodge out of the way. All these fun of these possible mistakes. And, ah, got me. <laughs> so this is a fun little simple game we made. Um, just something to kind of get us started for the week. I hope you guys have a really wonderful, fun day, and I look forward to making more games with you throughout the week. We have some really, I have some really big, fun, exciting game projects in mind. And if you have anything you want to make, please let Richard know, and we'll start building that as well. Take care. Bye.